Hello and welcome to the Vampire Survivors Arcana Guide. The game in this video is version 0.5 and there's only 6 cards. If new cards are released with special requirements, I'll make short update videos like I do for evolutions. First you need to pick up the random mad zone the Gallo Tower. You run way up to the green arrow. To gain access to the Gallo Tower, you need to reach level 60 in the Dairy Plant. You will also notice Hurry Mode beside Hyper Mode. I'm testing it here, but all it does is make the time go down twice as fast. To access Hurry Mode, go down instead and follow the arrow to that potion. I sped up the footage and I'm about to pick it up, here we go. This will give you my first Arcana card. We'll look at each of them in details once we get them all. To get the other cards, you need to reach level 99 with a bunch of characters. I'll do them all, then I'll show you how it works. Let's take a look at each card. First one's amazing, gives 3 revivals. One, you consume one, and gives you extra max L or more might, area, duration, and speed. Wow, that's a game changer. This one makes the Bracer's effectiveness fluctuate between minus 50 and plus 200%. This one's amazing too. Healing is double, recovering HP damages nearby enemies for the same amount. It becomes lifesteal for the garlic and the evolved whip. Slash enables critical hits for listed weapons, double overall critical damage. This one's for the spellbinder. Same thing as the bracer, it makes the uh, duration fluctuate between minus 50% and 200%. This one, it makes projectiles explode on impact, light sources explode, and the character explodes when damaged. The character explodes. So we'll uh, take a look at this one for a few seconds. The character explodes. I found this one really, really interesting. So I just sit there like this. Look at that, when the mobs hit me, I explode and it kills them. The way it works, at least in version 0.5, is when you start a run, you get to choose a card right away, and then at 11 minutes and 21 minutes, bosses will appear who drop a chest with a card in it. It's different from Molly's, it's 10 and 20 minutes. A normal elite spawn at the 11 minute mark, he's difficult to see, I'm about to kill it, and he does carry my first card. But exactly at 11 minutes he spawned, took me uh, 20 seconds to kill him. There you go. Then I'll pick the chest up, it has a card in it. Alright. Then you can choose. Of course there will be more cards in the future. So I'll just get a random one, I think I was just doing a run for the purpose of this. Okay, let's go to 21 minutes. Bottom left is easier to see this time. The blue bat. Gonna die real quick. There you go. And then we pick up the box for our third card. Same principle, we're gonna get to choose. Now they give me only three choices, that's because there's not enough cards in the game yet. So I'm gonna go with slash. That's all I can think of. I hope I'm forgetting nothing. If I do, please let me know in the comments. If they add new cards, all you have to do is reach level 99 with certain characters. I don't need to update this. But if there's major changes or new special requirements, I'll make updates like I do for evolution guides. I also made a Green Reaper kill guide that is 3 minutes long, so you can know how to get the Red Death as fast as possible. I hope you like this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support the channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.